Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you what supplies I use for Rainbow Loom and where I get them. So if you do enjoy my videos, please leave me a like, comment below, subscribe. Be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram, which is Alexis underscore Looms. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop and be sure to check out my Amazon storefront if you are interested in any of the items mentioned in this video. Let's get straight into it. The first supply that you are going to need for Rainbow Loom is going to be rubber bands. I get my rubber bands from various places, uh, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Walmart, Amazon, Target, and RainbowLoom.com. I do have off-brand rubber bands as well. I have rubber bands from Innscraft, Momo Looms, Loom Arctic, and just recently I tried bands on Timu. Um, so I do have a lot of experience with rubber bands. So you definitely need rubber bands. Uh, I wouldn't say you need this many rubber bands, but um, you could definitely have a collection if you wanted a collection, if you know what I'm saying. Like I have a lot, but I feel like a lot of them are different and then you know for different things and such like um all of these rubber bands we have here the teamy ones are in the ziploc bag just because they are a lot it's a lot it is a lot i will say that but i'm not crazy I'm not crazy but you do need rubber bands to make rainbow loom creations now, depending on what you are making, you may need to have some limited edition bands as well. I mostly use my limited edition bands for bracelets, but you could definitely try to use them in charms and such. But I only use them in bracelets because I think that they fare, they fare the best in bracelets. So now we are going to be talking about the supplies that are needed to make bracelets. As you can see, I have quite a few bracelets. Um, for bracelet making, depending on what bracelet you are making, you're going to need a hook, whether it is a crochet hook, a rainbow loom hook, or a double ended hook. Depending on what bracelet you are making, it is always good to have a double ended hook on in, in your supplies. And you obviously are also going to need rubber bands again, but I think I covered that topic um, fairly well with my, you know, opening, opening statement. Um, so, and then also for some bracelets, you will also maybe need a loom, depending on what bracelet you are making. Some require a loom and then beads. Beads are not required. But if you do want to bedazzle your bracelet, beads is something that you should have on hand. I have these pony beads. Uh, the majority of these are just the standard 9mm pony beads. Um, some of these, I do have smaller ones in here. Um, these are kind of like miscellaneous. I really love the pastel ones in the corner over here. I've had these ones since like I was a child, so these have been around a lot. And the ones up here, I don't necessarily know 
how you could use them for rainbow loom, but you they're beads, so anything's possible. And then I also have this case. Yes, I know. It's taped with One Direction tape. Don't come at me. Um, I obsessed. I'm just obsessed. And then I have um, smaller beads in here. So, like, I think these are 7 millimeters, whatever. They are the size that um, Feeling Spiffy recommends. And I have some evil eyes. Just like to have those around. Some perler beads. And uh, yeah, so beads are definitely something that you should have around. And then the last item that you are going to need to make bracelets are C clips or S clips. A bag of S clips and a bag of C-clips. Depends on your preference and what bands you buy. Um, if you prefer C-clips, that's okay, but then there are people who out there who prefer S-clips, which is also fine. So to sum it up, to make a bracelet, you are going to need a hook, possibly a double-ended hook, depending on the bracelet, rubber bands, possibly a loom, bracelet dependent, beads if you want to bedazzle your bracelet, and C-clips to close your bracelet. So that sums up all of the supplies needed to make a bracelet. Now, the supplies needed for charms slash lumigarumi are very similar to the ones needed for bracelet making, depending on what you are making. For most charms made on a loom, you will need a loom, rubber bands, um, beads, beads, also depending on what you are making um, for Lumi Groomy, you could also need safety eyes, which I have. A bunch of safety eyes as well. That pretty much sums up um, what you need for charms. Um, you could still need beads, but I already showed the beads, so I'm not going to show the beads again. Uh, I guess depending on what charm you are making, you could also need a latch hook. I know some of the happy foods, a latch hook is recommended. And then I do have also, I have a lot of my older creations on the table right now because I have not recently made a charm that's like 2D. So I put all of those on the table. So for charms and lumigurumi, you need rubber bands. A loom, possibly, a hook, beads slash safety eyes, and that's it. Um, if you guys know, if you guys think that I'm forgetting anything, definitely let me know. Um, I'm not a mastermind. I don't remember everything. And then the last um, supplies for Rainbow Loom that we will be going over is going to be for murals. And lastly, the supplies needed for a mural are a loom, definitely a hook, and you'll need um, a lot of either C-clips or S-clips. And obviously, you know, you will need rubber bands, but specifically for your murals, you're going to need clear bands as well to keep your mural from not falling apart. So let me know in the comments below if I missed any supplies that you use for Rainbow Loom. I know the people would definitely want to know um, what supplies you are using. So if you do have any questions on where I got things from, 
definitely also, you know, leave a comment below and I can um let you know where it's from if I remember. So I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave me a like, comment below, subscribe. Be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop. And be sure to check out my Amazon storefront as well. I will see you all the next time I post. Bye.